Guys, it is officially time. It is the day before the hunt. We've gone, we've scouted, we've located. Probably not the amount that we want to locate, but we have a few elk that we're gonna go after. Guys, it's been a year. I, a year ago, I, I decided I want to I want to spend my points on an archery elk hunt. I don't want to wait for rifle. And I've been practicing shooting my bow nearly every single day since that day. I've made sure to do everything I could so that whatever is within my power is going to go the way it should. Now we just got to hope the elk show up, that they're there, that they listen, that They'll be in the right place and I'll be there at the right time. Look, man, we're ready. We got all of our crap and then the trunk is completely full as well. This is what we're here to do. Man, this is just a, a crazy experience. I, I feel so lucky, I'm excited. This will be my first elk. We're gonna work hard and we're gonna get this done. I'm 100% positive that we are going to get this done. And Day one, morning one. Going out to the spot, see if we can locate them again. Let's see what we can see. I live inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the. Oh my god. So when he reaches back like that. For this guy, we spotted a big old five point about two miles away. And since we weren't seeing much, we decided we were gonna walk all the way around, see if we could get to him. Once we got there, I stuck Kurt up high, and I made my stock going low, and you'll see what happened. Go slow. Dang it. Just stocked in a couple miles on a six point. He was straight downhill. We found him bedded. I got down to his bed, I got within 60 yards. He stood up. I can see him. My uncle up on the ridge could see him. He was telling me he was there. I couldn't see him. It was too thick. Then he got away. And now I gotta hike up this freaking thing. In the rain. You can see in the area I'm in. That's how steep I am. Yep. That was fun though. Get here moving in there. We're gonna get one. I can feel it. It's gotta be the right time. All right, let me get up this hill. All right, so I'm out here day four in the afternoon, going on a little lone trip morning I had an encounter at 35 yards, elk stayed behind trees, never showed himself, got spooked and ran off. So we're having chances. Getting tons of opportunities, that's what we came for, but we came here to kill, came here to get one. So 
doing a little afternoon bout myself. Hopefully we can find one, hopefully we can get a shot. Cause I really don't want to go do this hike tonight. So that's the reason why I need to kill one now. Please. After four days straight of hunting, I had to go home, I had to go back to work for a minute. And then after two days of that, I took my wife back out with me because she really wanted to experience an elk hunt. Um, so we went out that first morning, hiked up a super tall mountain, and she did awesome. So we've just arrived at the base of where we're gonna first hike up. It's 6.07 a.m. We rolled up a few minutes ago, but I was tired, so he's gonna let me take like a 10 minute little nap, but. We're, we're about to do this, so here you can kind of, no, you can't see the mountain from here. I'll try to record, but I'm a little nervous. It's um, 0.1 miles and like 750 feet elevation. So actually it's like a half mile, but in 0.1 miles, it's 750 feet elevation. So it's going to be pretty straight up, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I am excited. Jason, how are you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good? I'll spot some elk though. This is gorgeous. I know. Well, I've got the spotter or the scoper. So we'll be spotting. Let's go get it. Oh, should be quick. So it takes me about 45 minutes to hike down this. Down that, that point, and then he's at the very, very bottom. I, I can't get a shot right there. I'd scare him away. You see him there, though. He's asleep. He's like, yeah, he's bad. He's real tall. Kind of narrow, but real tall. After about 10 minutes of watching him, we saw him kind of corralling his uh, his cows around. They started kind of moving down the mountain. So my dad and I said, okay, I need to, the wind was perfect. I need to walk down our mountain, up theirs. There was a line of trees that went right below their meadow where they were at. So the plan was get to that line of trees and maybe they'll walk right out into the meadow above and I'll be able to get like a 60 yard shot at this bull. That was a perfect plan. So right as I'm getting ready to go, my dad's like, hey, they're moving down the mountain. You got a haul. So I grabbed my walkie-talkie. I had my, we were, we were able to talk to each other. And I hauled down the mountain, hauled up their side, got to that tree line, and I radioed him. And I said, Dad, okay, where are they? Which set of trees are you at? I didn't ever see you. Okay, on the left of everything. You see me? Yeah, I see you. The problem I worry about is where all those cows went. I can't see them, but I can see him. Does it look like there are any gaps or channels that I can make it through to get to him without plugging the cows? I mean, you could walk to my right to that next set of pines and then just keep going that way. And if he keeps going right, then you might get a chance at him. I think I did it for real this time. I think I just, I just killed a big one. Oh my gosh. He, oh my gosh, he came out so perfectly. I don't want to get hyped because last time I did this, I ended up missing him and I thought I'd nailed him. 
but he came out right here at 40 yards and I hit him and immediately blood started spewing out. I was maybe a touch high, but it was lungs. It was 100% lungs. Yes! 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 All right, so I just walked down this whole thing. We spotted a big old six point and a bunch of cows just milling around up here for forever. And then they started to kind of walk down. My dad's like, you got to get down there. They were kind of coming down this way, but the bigger elk, my dad said, went right. So I got to these pine trees right here. And then my dad voices to me and says, hey, they're all walking this way. So I came back over here to get up to this tree line and hopefully get up there because I thought the bull was follow them that way. But then as soon as I got here, they spotted me and they kind of jumped. So I knelt down. And then out of the corner of my eye, right here in these pines, right in between that gap you can see right there, I, I just saw a body. I'm like, that's him. So I ranged it real quick, right at the opening, and it was 45. And he came out, antlers right there. <laughs> I drew back, and he just kept walking. He didn't even see me. He got to about 40 yards, was slightly quartering to me. I put my 40 kind of just barely behind his shoulder, and I nailed him. I, he is a dead elk. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh! So I shot him right here, green bush where my bow's pointing. He ran directly back that way towards those trees and then started to kind of go up a little bit. <sighs> That's a dead elk. That is a dead elk. <laughs> He's going to be dead. 100 yards over there. 100%. Is there no blood it stopped i found one little dot like two feet after that you found one more dot. one little dot and then i was on my hands and knees get your arrow ready to yeah i got it put that away and let's he's done Possible. Are you kidding me? Uh, Are you freaking kidding me? You see that shot? That was a good <laughs> shot. Let's freaking go. You are kidding me. Oh. Dad. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. All the fights. Oh. Yes. Oh, you something. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my heck. Oh my gosh. Wonder if I did a hundred miles of hiking. The plan came together tonight. <clears throat> that couldn't have gone any better. That was perfect. Well, I, I thought I'd hosed you when I told you to go to that next set of trees, because they all started coming out back the other yeah. original place. <clears throat> I literally 
because you told me to do that. I was right in those pine trees. If I would have stayed, it would have been a 10 yard shot. But I start hiking over. Yeah. It's, I'm lucky that they saw me because I was going and then I turned and I see them looking right at me and I knelt down and I was looking at them and out of the corner of my eye, there's just one gap between the pine trees. I saw a body. I'm like, that has to be him. So I turned and I quick ranged right where he came out. It was 45 and then I got ready and all of a sudden I just see antlers come out of the trees. <laughs> and then he's walking kind of towards me and, I, and he had his head down. He wasn't even paying attention. I draw back and he walks a little bit closer and he was 41 is what he ended up being. And I hit right on the spot, I let go and you heard a smack and immediately blood came out and what'd he go? A hundred yards maybe? We found blood for the first 20 yards. Yeah, tons of blood for the first 20 yards and then it stopped. My own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles Profanities I see the world through